Okay, hello everybody. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I really do appreciate you guys. So in today's video, it's a very good one because you're not talking about Germany and I'm so happy for this. Very, very excited. I have a guest with me. Please, can you introduce yourself? <laughs> ha, this one sounds like it's an interview. Anyways. No, it's not uh... an interview. Don't worry. <laughs> chill. <laughs> chill, cry. Chill, chill, chill. Uh, any, anytime anyone asks me... Um, can you introduce yourself? I think about... Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll just make it... I can make it brief for you, right? So can you tell us your name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So my name is Seth Kwame okay. Um I am Ghanaian, uh, but I currently live in Czech Republic, Prague. That's the center of um, Czech, the hmm. capital city. Yeah. Okay. I've been here for like a year and just a month or so. I was here last year, September, which is September 2021. Yeah. Mm. So that's approximately okay. one year and about a month or so. Okay. But prior to that, I was in Ghana, in Kufuridia. Prior to Kufuridia, I was in Suhum. Prior to Suhum, I was in Cape Coast. So Cape Coast was for school. I UCC? attended UCC. Absolutely. Mm. So okay. UCC. Nice. Uh, but I am an Accra boy, like that's oh, where I grew up. Uh -huh. Yeah, Accra boy. But because of school and then work, I had to be just moving about here and there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's go back to Prague. Hmm. We are done with Ghana, but in the future, <laughs> 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 let's go back to Prague. So, are you mm -hmm. what? What are you doing? Are you schooling, working? You know? Yes. Um, I, I'm actually doing both. Okay, so let's talk about the school first. Um, you are in a university. What's the name of your university? My uh, University of Chemistry and Technology, Prague. One wow, of the so finest... it's pure science. Yes, but there is also the business school. So I'm okay. a business student. I have no foreknowledge in science. Um, I'm a business student. So it has a business oh, school. Okay. And that is, yeah, so that's where I'm enrolled. I'm actually oh. studying... MSc, that's my master's degree in yes. innovations projects management. Uh, usually, mm. project management is quite broad. So, once you are completing, you begin to specialize. Yeah. Uh, our program has finance, it has supply chain, I think it, have, it has project management as well. So, you decide where you want to be. In mm. fact, when I, when I started, I wanted to be. Oh, yeah, finance, finance, finance. And I, I realized that, nah, actually, I don't like learning like that. Yes, oh, I can relate. God. Yeah, it's because of something else. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Okay, okay. So let me ask you mention your university again, the name University of Chemistry and Technology, Prague. University of Chemistry and Technology. The name is very confused. The, the name might sound as if the school is just like a science school, you know. Yes. yes <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's let me ask you this. Why did you choose Prague? Like, hey, sorry, <laughs> Czech Republic. Czech. Why did you choose Czech Republic? There's an interesting story. When I tell mm -hmm. you, you laugh. Okay. So see, the Czech Republic wasn't the original uh, destination, right? Okay. So. It had always been Germany. I wanted to go to Germany. I wanted to go to Germany. And then I started applying for schools in Germany. In fact, I did mathematics, BSc, mathematics with business in UCC, mm -hmm. which means that, don't say, well, it's not like I like learning. No, I don't like <laughs> Please, you're smart. That's all. Don't believe uh, yourself. <laughs> so yeah. so I decided that, so yes, I decided I wanted to do mathematics in my uh, master's level right mm. and then i started applying to schools in germany uh, at the time i had an agency helping me out shout outs to them uh, century net consult then i had schools in germany and look one of the professors i had said that i'm willing to give you an admission mm. cool but because you want to study maths pure maths i want to know your full knowledge in maths right so he sent me maths questions for me to solve and then submit my dear mm -hmm. i'm telling you i sent it to all the math groups i know in my school and then in ghana no <laughs> what kind of math was that <laughs> hey, hey you you'd be surprised i'm telling you wow yeah so 
I got disappointed, discouraged. Then I turned to Yuki, but okay. the fees. My yeah. oh my. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Tell me about it. It is. So I had a friend in China at the time who said that, hey, the point is you are trying to go to Europe, right? I said, yeah, there's mm-hmm. just Europe I want to go to. He said, mm-hmm. Look, Germany and the likes are quite difficult to enter. Mm-hmm. Um, I know someone who works for people who want to school in um, Czech Republic. So if you are interested, mm-hmm. you can speak to the guy. I called the guy. So I called him, called him. He wasn't picking. I'll call him. I'm busy. I'm this. And I said, well, okay. Let me. So I just left him and then started looking for schools in Czech Republic. Mm. Started looking for schools in Czech Republic. And because I did mathematics and then business, I needed a program that would fit that particular portfolio. Not entirely business, not entirely mathematics, but a blend okay. of both. And that's how come I settled in my school. Because that's what we do. Basically. Okay. Okay. So that's how, that's how come we settle with Czech Republic, right? Czech, yes. That's that's really nice. So let me ask you, did you do the application process by yourself? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, Everything so, by myself. But so proud you know, like, that mm-hmm. I had an agency helping me out. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, if you want to study in Germany, the website you have to go to is that that website, the daad.de. So, if if right now I I don't have any idea, I want to start my application process to Czech Republic. Which websites would you recommend? That in I'll fact, find schools there. Yeah. So, I don't know a portal that's specifically mm. Czech Republic. Okay. But what I use is, um, mm-hmm. I think it's mastersportal.com okay. or something. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's where I find all my programs, in schools, not just yeah. in um, Czech, but Czech Republic. All the schools. There is also okay. a bachelorsportal.com where you can find mm-hmm. all the bachelor programs that you want. Okay. Okay. Either okay. Canada, okay. US. It comes with. You can filter with. Uh, country specific you can mm-hmm. filter with um tuition so tuition range you can even filter with like programs you want to if you want to just study it which programs and what yes. tuition yes, yes. Mm-hmm. so that's you what i to use. filter yes yes thank you so much so um this application process did you have to pay like application fees and all of that yep yep and then how many schools wait how many schools did you apply to sorry in czech republic <clears throat> Just one. Yes, one. So how much was the application fee? I would have to be mentioning the figures in in my currency. I I, I am very bad at doing conversion in, here. In in in, in, in um the Chechen. Is it Chechen? Yes. Is that? No, it's no, it... called the Czech Corona, Czech Crown. Czech Corona or cor- Corona. Yes, or Crown. Corona. Okay, okay, okay. So how much? It's three thousand eight hundred Czech crowns. Three thousand. Do you know the conversion to euros? One euro is around twenty-five, twenty-four point something. That's twenty-five crowns. Okay, so let's say three thousand divided by twenty-five. That's around one twenty euros. Whoop! That's quite an amount. Yes. Oh wow! It's, it's very expensive because um, mm. um, they would have to be sending you your documents via yeah. DHL, they would have to oh, okay. be verifying your documents and all those things are included in the hundred and oh. you don't have to extra pay anything. Once you pay for that amount, once you pay for the amount, that's all. Mm-hmm. Everything so, is included. Okay, what are the basic requirements? <clears throat> okay, so you would need a bachelor if you are doing a master's. Mm-hmm. If you are, if you want to pursue first degree, means you need your WASI certificate. Mm-hmm. You also need a transcript of records. You need um, your CV. You need statement of purpose. You need okay. a passport. Hmm. Transcript. What am I not forgetting? Yes, I mentioned transcript. Yeah. Okay. I think those are the basic. Basic ones. Ones. Okay. You, okay. Then you need to fill up recommendations. Form. No, we don't do hmm. recommendations. That's nice. That's all. Oh, yes. That's nice. <laughs> I no think it will depend on the school, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. everything I am saying is in relation to my school. Yes. In fact, there yes. are there are far cheaper ad- mm. admission fees. Mm. Is that what okay. it's called? Admission fees. There are far cheaper fee, application, yeah, application fees. Yeah. Exactly. 
there are far cheaper ones but everything mm-hmm. i see is in relation to yes your my experience school. yeah yes yeah. okay so that is it you pay everything and then you submit your documents plus you fill an application form they are going to send the application form to you you fill mm-hmm. the forms then you send it to them via email everything via email and they are very responsive mm. you send and then someone gets back to you you send someone yeah, gets back very to you. responsive yeah. mm, that's nice um so um in you know in, in germany they have teaching free programs and if you want to can you need to have the, a blocked account of eleven thousand euros how is it like in in czech republic uh, do they have yes. teaching free programs no okay Okay, no. then they don't have so, tuition fee programs. Let's talk about the tuition. Oh. Yes. Okay. So yeah. this is what happens. Usually, for, I know for like PhD programs, right? Mm. If you study, if you study the Czech language, okay, for like a year or two, and you get, I think you get B one or so, mm. and then you you take the course in Czech or the program in Czech, it's free. You don't pay anything. Okay. So most most of the people that are doing PhD will just study the course. For some time, the language for some time, and then take the PhD in uh, Czech. It's very in easy. Che- to... In what's the name of the language? Czech. Czech. Okay, the, and then people the are country called, is what? called Czech Republic. Uh huh. The, the country is called Czech Republic. Republic. The language is Czech. Okay. The people are the Czech people, so th- that's okay. It. I'm saying Czech, Czech, Czech. Czech. Oh my God. Then the currency is the Czech crown. Or check corona. Okay, corona. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. So yeah, let's go back to the tuition. Okay, let's talk about you because maybe it's different from school to school. How yes. do you pay your tuition fees? Do you pay it per semester or per year? Okay. So first of all, my tuition is about it's seventy thousand seven hundred crowns. If you convert, yes. it should be around three thousand euros. That's very cool. Yes. For the record, yes, there are exactly. other schools that are far cheaper than mm-hmm. my school. There are other schools that are far cheaper. I I know schools that are paying like twenty five thousand crowns, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm paying seventy thousand crowns. So that's even like less than fifty percent of. Yeah, that's even some are even less than let's say three thousand euros or even yes. two thousand euros. Yes. Some mm-hmm. are even far less. Some are that less. Is, that's than per semester, right? Per year. Some okay. are far oh, less it's than. Good. It's so good. let me tell you this: and there are some schools that are countries. far less than five hundred euros. I'm telling you. Yes, there are some great programs in this country that are less than five hundred euros. I'm telling you. Something. Wow. Yes. People don't know this. Everybody wants to go. No, to no, no, no. Everybody yeah. wants to go to UK. Everyone wants to go to. <laughs> you know, there are other countries that are actually doing really well. We just we're just used to the normal. Mhm. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Thank you so yeah. much for this. Per year, me. I was even thinking per semester. No, it's per year. Oh, it's so, good. It's good. Okay. So what happens is this is how I pay my tuition. Mm-hmm. So let me use my typical example. Yeah. So when I came to school, I didn't have a lot of money because mm-hmm. the money I brought in a bus, uh, I left my wallet and oh, like I left my wallet in the bus and all that, and I had not in created Ghana? a bank account. No, in check. Okay. And I had not created a bank account. So when I left my wallet, someone picked it later. Someone texted me on Facebook and said, oh, I've seen your wallet. Yeah. But when it came back, all the money was, money was, gone. was gone. And all the euros I brought were gone. Oh, so I didn't okay. have money. Luckily for me, I had a family in Germany. I have a family in Germany, so they sought me out. Oh, nice. So I had to look for a job to sort my tuition. Yeah. So when the school told me to start paying my fees, I told them that, okay, and it's that's the standard. Once mm-hmm. they ask you to start paying your fees, you tell them that they should give you a payment plan. Okay. So okay. you either decide that I pay half this semester and then early next semester, I pay the remaining. Yes. Or I pay like 30% this semester, 70% the next semester. Mm-hmm. Or I pay everything up front. Okay. That's up to you. Right. So I discussed with them and then they said, okay, that's fine. No problem. And I had to work too. I paid my first semester at the end of December. Okay. Yeah, I paid half of half of the yes. money at yeah. the end of December. Then early March, I was supposed to pay in late um, February, but I paid in early March the remaining okay. amount, and that was all. Oh wow, that's really wow! I'm really impressed. Like, so apart from this tuition fees, do you pay any other things to the university? 
accommodation. Okay, okay, not that, not even that. You know, like in Germany, we don't pay fees, but we pay like semester contribution around 200 years. Okay, okay, that's just the fees. Okay, cool. We'll come to the accommodation aspect. Wow, actually, I'm really, really impressed, actually. Okay, now we finish up, we finish with the tuition fees. Now let's talk about the visa application. Yeah. Is it difficult to get an appointment? Very difficult. I'm not lying. Yeah. Extremely difficult. So there are two ways of getting an appointment. Okay. The first one is something we call Rexim student, right? So when you apply to the school and then you send them everything, okay. the school takes your name so to the, the uh, foreign ministry in Prague. Hmm. Then the foreign ministry would have to submit your name to the Ghanaian embassy. Okay. Which means that you have all your documents ready, sitting at home. Then the Ghanaian embassy will call you that, hey, Seth, um, your name has been submitted. It mm. means that pick a day from Monday to Friday. When can you come for your interview? Yeah. Yes. So that one, you don't need to go and then book for an appointment. Okay. So you have to wait for them. For them. So mm. that's the first part. Okay. The problem with that part is that they go uh, in in the hier hierarchical order, which okay. means that they pick PhD students first, oh. they work on them, they pick master students first, they work on them, then they pick Bastard. first degree students, and then they work on them. So if okay. about 10 schools submit their students, right, they'll be picking PhD people mm. working on them, masters working on them. So if you have first degree, it means that it will take time. Yeah. It will take a lot of time before it will get to you. But yes. eventually it will get to you, right? Now that's the regime student part. Okay. It's, like, it's either called regime or regime, one of them. Okay. Then there is a part where you, the applicant, would have to book yourself. It is the last working day of every month. Last working day of every of month. Of every month, yes. Um, last so, working day of month. Okay. so if you want to let's say you want to book this month so right? it's once in a month you can book absolutely wow Just <laughs> once in a month. so let's say you want to book this month right yes. it means that your only chance of booking is monday which is 31st of october, um, october. yes right and that is it mm -hmm. and that is the first condition the second condition is that you should book at 8 a.m. exactly. Sharp. Sharp. If you 8 book a.m. 8... your country time or their country time. Yes, Ghana time. 8 Ghana time. Okay. Yes. So if you book um 8 5, usually mm -hmm. the people that book at 8 1, 8 2. Mm. Because because the Czech embassy in Ghana serves about five countries, right? Mm. All the African countries are also oh, applying. Yeah. So if you book Eight one eight two, you would get an automatic notification that we've exceeded our capacity. So it's a first come, first serve uh, affair here. So you need to be like have some fast internet. But wow. there's a way to go about it. Yeah, there's a way some people go about it and mm. they get it. I have a friend whose girlfriend has gotten an appointment, gone for the uh, visa and all that interview, okay. and then has had their visa and all that. But the point is that it should be la last working day of the month, not last day, last working day, last plus, working day. yes, plus 8 a.m. sharp. If you book prior to 8 a.m., so say 7.58, 7.55, you are disqualified. Yes, <laughs> but if you book, but if you book 8.1, 8.2, chances are that they've exceeded you capacity. Might not get, yeah. Yes, wow. so that's, that's how come... It becomes very difficult. If not, the process is... Then I think is, I prefer is, the other one where the school sends your detail to the embassy. Yes. That one yes. is better. Yeah. Yeah, but usually you do both, right? So okay. whereas the school is sending, you're also doing yours. Just mm. in case... Right? Yes. Which one, did you, which, one, which one did you get? My school did it for me. My school okay. started the process very early. So even okay. before... Usually schools um, open the applications in January over here, right? Mm -hmm. But my school started my application because I had this thing with them, right? Okay. So they started my application somewhere in December, early December. Mm -hmm. So I had, 
I had an advantage over yes. the process. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. That's that's really nice. So, can you share with us how your um, um visa interview process was like? Like maybe the kind of questions you were asked. It is a completely different process from oh. the German process. I understand German. We do ask like three questions, four questions, then that's it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ours is not like that. Sometimes it depends on who you meet, too. <laughs> but mostly it's not so hard. hard. Mostly, yeah. Ours, ours takes about an hour. Eh? Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. And... You, maybe we can do another video where we talk about your visa experience. Mind dear. <laughs> because hey. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I remember the first but the first question they asked me was, Are you on drugs? Like, really? Really? Oh my guy. Oh. Yeah. But they ask series of questions. And okay, so the point is. The questions are questions they, they already have, but they are trying to verify from you. Okay. Typical example. Typical example. You know that you'd be sleeping in a student dormitory. The student mm. dormitory is called College Volha, but they will still ask you, um, when you come to check, where will you be residing? So you need to tell them in a student dormitory. Yes. You know the name. You need to tell them, oh, yes, I know. There was the name. The name is this. I noticed also that whilst they are asking you the questions, they are typing, they are which means typing. that, yes, which means that it is something that is scripted and they are supposed to be responding yes. to it. Yes. That's just about it. No hard yeah. feelings. Though. So are, the, are there chances where people are denied students visa to Czech Republic? Of course, of course. A, a lot of, a lot of the time. <laughs> yes. So, of course, a typical now, example. Of course, this when, interview. <laughs> <It's possible. laughs> when, when, uh, I had a friend who went, right? So they they were asking him that um, your bank statement, right? Mm. Um, what happened? Because it looks like money comes in and then for a very long time, money doesn't come again, mm -hmm. then money comes in. So the guy felt a bit suspicious. Right? and was asking him about the bank statement. The, there was a huge amount of money and the guy said, well, he didn't even know that someone had put in this amount of money at the at the time that is written in there mm. and it felt some way but the guy because no. you know so we our cost of living in czech republic is very low right so okay. if an amount of money like twenty thousand is in your account twenty thousand check counts is in your account it's something yes. that you cannot you cannot oversee because it's a huge amount of money you get twenty thousand is around say about a thousand crowns or less okay a thousand euros or less yeah I mean, yes, right? yes. Uh -huh. yeah, like but we sense. we see it we see it as, as a lot of money because our cost of living uh, is very yes low. yeah and so if somebody puts about twenty thousand ghana cities in their account and they tell you that well i really don't know it's a bit suspicious right mm. another thing is i remember in my time that was a year ago. My bank statement, I needed to have 20, 25,000 Ghana cities in my account. Right. 25,000 cities? Yes. For the, 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 the interview. Proof of like, funds. Proof of funds. Up to 25,000 yes. Ghana cities. Up to 25,000 Ghana cities. During my yeah. time. Okay, okay. This time around, they are requesting for about 40,000 Ghana cities. Ghana cities. Yes. Okay. I know a friend who went and... They were just relying on old information. So they went and they had just um, around 20,000, 30,000 in their account. Yeah. And the consular told him that, look, you're supposed to have about 40,000 in your account. So we'd want you to go and then organize yourself and then yes. book for an appointment again. Wow. Yes. So, but it, it's not like a block account system. It's just to show no. proof of fund, like a bank statement. Thing. Exactly. Okay. So what happens is that um they need to know that you can fund yourself when you come into the country you don't need to create an account in czech republic even if it's because in my case i used uh, ghana commercial bank so it's a ghana mm -hmm. commercial bank i was using in ghana i had money in it quite an amount of money mm -hmm. luckily for me i keep telling people this me luckily for me my sister um was 
doing a project in Ghana. So when she is sending money, she sends it to me. Yes. It passes through my account. Then yes. I give it to whoever, whichever so they format. they see like the flow of cash. Uh -huh. yes, but not yes. necessarily that I had plain money. No, no, no. Yeah, that's how bank statements. People don't know. People think like you have to have a huge sum of money stuck there. No. As so far as they see that the activeness of the bank and the reasonable amount is going and coming. Okay. Coming. Yeah. Exactly. You get it. So yeah. that's just about it. Okay, okay, wow. <laughs> I don't know, I was just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about the one other thing right now. Okay, okay. Um, I want to ask, I actually wanted to ask about this, but we've talked about, we've talked about it, the proof of funds, and you've talked about mm -hmm. it, so yeah. That's, yeah. And then, so let's talk about um, your living experience so far in Czech Republic. Before I get to that, since we've been talking about money, let's talk about the cost of living. As a student, how much do you pay for accommodation? Until recently, that it went up. Yeah, I used to, my accommodation, my accommodation is now five thousand crowns. Five thousand crowns should be around two hundred or less, right? Two hundred euros. Two hundred euros. Yeah. Two hundred euros. Yeah. Two hundred and four. There about. Okay. But before, and it is also because I live alone in my room. Okay. It's a student hostel. Share. Yes, yeah. student hostel. I don't share the room with anyone. Yeah. So for the people who live with others, it's around three thousand five hundred there about. Oh, okay. About one hundred and forty something, one hundred and fifty euros. Like they live in the in the same room or like different rooms, but one apart. No, in the same in the same room. So oh, okay. Same, there are two beds. In, yeah. in the room like right? now we have in ghana type of uh -huh. yes like two in a room two okay. in a room so uh, then it will be cheaper okay so in general do you think cost of living is cool in czech republic how I much can you how much can you spend in a month averagely as a student on food um so this is the thing personally um every month i take around a thousand thousand no, every, no every week i take around a thousand corona Okay. And then shop. Okay. And I do buy milk, buy this, buy rice, mm. buy this, buy this, buy this. So within the month, I would have spent around four thousand crowns on food. Okay. Then I spend around five thousand on accommodation. Mm. So you okay. round it up, it will be around ten thousand crowns. Okay. That's around five hundred euros. Around four hundred, actually. Mm, nice. Okay, it's fine. It's fair. It's fair. It's 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 fair. Okay, but I so, spend um, a lot. There are a lot of people that don't spend. Yeah. So, because the thing it's I'm telling sick. you, the thousand crowns I'm I'm talking to you about, I'm buying like bread, twenty five crowns, which is like one euro, right? I'm buying milk, like twenty five crowns or twenty crowns, which is less than one euro. So you can imagine why you, and you live why in you, Prague. Uh, I guess cost of living yes, there should be higher than center, other places. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. that's cool. So um as you are in Czech Republic, I know that um students are allowed to work, right? Mm -hmm. How many hours can you work maximum in a week during school time? This thing is very, very delicate. You did they are talking about it. I think because of legal issues. <laughs> okay, okay. I think because of legal issues. But, but no, but are students allowed to work? Yes, not? yes. Okay. Students are very much allowed to work. And on paper, you're you are allowed to work 20 hours in the week. Yes, that's what I wanted to know. That's all. I mean, I don't, but no, yes. <laughs> For people to know, okay, students are allowed to work. Yes, yes. they're allowed so, to work okay. 20 hours in a week. So what's the, the um average salary per hour? Like in Germany, it's at least 12 euros per hour. Starts from 12 that's euros per hour. Now in Germany, because of like inflation, now they increased it just last month. They increased it to twelve euros per hour. But yeah, you spend it so you spend it too. So <laughs> you spend it too. But do you think case, if I'm a student, I can take care of myself, right? With working part-time jobs. Oh, of course you can. Okay. I mean, okay, that's fair. You you can because I'm telling you, I know somebody that they've done this like that's more of the boys here are paying tuition right yeah more of the boys here are paying tuition so you can imagine and 
we are not like extra old rich people. We are we are yeah. not rich people. Yeah. We are average Ghanaian citizens and we are not even taking money from home again. Yeah. Sometimes yes, yes, yes. like every people. everybody me too, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen our way through. <laughs> oh my god. But then back to my question. Averagely, how much per hour? I know it average depends. is per hour. Let's say like start from the minimum. You can give us a range. Yeah, so depends on uh, depends on the type of job you job, do. So, okay. So there are there are restaurant jobs here. Okay. That pay around a hundred and hundred and Forty, hundred and fifty. Okay. Ah, uh, crowns, mm. which is very low. It's around um, five euros, six euros thereabout. Yeah, it's according to the cost of living there. So, yeah. Yes. 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 However, however, there are office jobs that are okay. paying around ten, twelve, fifteen euros, even for students. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Yes. Yes. And so what's that? Jobs. Are student jobs easily available? It takes a lot of effort. Mm. Point is that you will get a lot of interviews to go to. I'm telling you, I remember I watched one of your videos and you're telling uh, one of the guys that, oh, and then you are joking, you know, you've applied to like three uh, jobs. Mind you? <laughs> no, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about part time jobs, not like real jobs. Part-time yes, jobs that's too. what I am talking about. If you want, if you want the. Um, the jobs that are in restaurants, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pack, yeah, parking jobs, and the likes. I think it's a bit easier to get. Yeah. But if you want office jobs, right? An actual job, like you mean, like yes. internship, those kind of things. You mean like jobs. Job, job. Or sometimes part time. Yeah, jobs, after part time, uh, part time in Germany is easy to get, but to get like after when you graduate, that's not what I'm talking about. After that one, it takes a lot of time. Even today, I got a rejection today as I was speaking to you. Today is Sunday. They, they didn't even go through my application because you can't. <laughs> you know, that's a reality. But I'm hoping to find something soon. But fortunately for us, fortunately for us, um, we are able to get like jobs, not just part time jobs, but jobs okay. Okay. while we are in school. Like full time job. Yes. The okay. only thing is that you need to, you, your supervisor needs to, because a con, there's a condition mm. on working, right? When you're a student. Okay. Um, of course, you're supposed to work 20 hours. But usually when you get a very good job, the caveat is that your job should not affect your studies because yes, your studies. primary purpose of stay in check mm. is study, yeah. right? So whatever you do, make sure it doesn't affect your studies. Mm -hmm. That's the underlining rule. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other than that, if if your supervisor, if your manager is very candid, very friendly, yeah. very forthcoming, to be able to schedule things for you to be able mm -hmm. to work within time, I mean, why not? Why not? Okay. Yeah. So uh, okay, so let tell me your life experience so far. How are the people there, like in Czech Republic? Are they friendly? Yes. Yeah, they, they are friendly. There are two okay. different sets of Czech people: the very mm -hmm. old people and then the young folks. Young ones. The young folks. I sometimes see me, and, yo, do you get it? And someone has seen me in town people and said, you really look good, yeah? Um, can I have a dance with you? And like they just dance in public, right? They just okay. dance with you. So that's the young folk. They are very nice. They are very outgoing. And then there's a flip side of the coin, the, the very early folks. That yeah. You see, and then if you don't speak Czech, they don't want to talk to you. Sometimes you're like, um, hello, um, do you speak Czech? They're like, nah, 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 nah. Then they, nah, just, don't right? so they just don't want to talk to you. Right? Hmm. But I think all in all, when you speak their language a bit, they, they are up open. To you. Yes, they are open to you. However, yeah. if if you are the foreigner that doesn't want to speak their language, then yes, yeah, even in they Germany, become cool yeah. towards you. Yeah. yeah. And I don't so, speak the language, so but you are you know basic stuff right <laughs> how do you say how are you yak smash yak smash yak smash i thought german was difficult i've met my master <laughs> i'm telling you this one is far difficult than german i'm not like yeah yeah okay 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 then um any culture shocks like 
what's your any culture shock? What's your first what was your first culture shock or any culture shock at all you found yeah, the in the gym? The weather, my, yeah. My, dear, <laughs> my first day I landed it, you know when I was coming from Ghana, I was in the plane, I was in the Ghanaian airport, yeah. the plane. Um I used Turkish Airlines, so Istanbul. I mean I was passing through yes, AC, yes. AC, 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 so I felt like nah big boy. I was one big boy, big boy, big boy. Then I got to Prague and then I was in the airport and there was AC. And then I had to go out and then I was met with the weather. I had to just rush back and I was like, nah. <laughs> I said my first yeah. all I got out from the plane in at in Hamburg, I was just confused. All right, am I like in an outside AC or what? <laughs> <laughs> and it you know, it's very deceiving there eh, because the sun was very up high. Sun is out. Ah, I'm like, yeah. ah, nah, Charlie, nah, 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 nah. The weather, but, yeah, the weather is always a culture shock to to us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so any challenges to because I know everywhere. There are challenges everywhere except heaven. Mm-hmm. So even in heaven, and maybe I don't even know. But heaven, I don't believe there are challenges in heaven. But <laughs> there are I mean, challenges if... everywhere on this earth. Have you faced of any course. challenges? Yes, but it still boils down to um, what do you call it? Communication, right? Okay. Because there's been times when I've gone, I've gone to the foreign police here, and by by virtue of their name foreign police it means that they are supposed to be helping foreigners right yes. but you begin to speak english and then they tell you now nah, do you speak german or do you speak czech if not mm. they, they cannot communicate to you which is very bad it makes you miss home right? yes oh yeah. my god but the people are um the people are the young ones again the young ones are very forthcoming such that once they see you struggling a bit they want to help you out yes right and so that is it but i've been into supermarkets where because i cannot see i cannot see what is re- i'm telling you so my first time i went to the supermarket i wanted oil i want to buy vinegar oil uh, vinegar water was the day and when i get this, i was just cooking i was like nah this one is not oil, not oil. i thought of it uh it was later that I visited yeah, I a friend. because the language is very, very different. At least for mm-hmm. German, you see like oil. You see like, it looks like, okay, I think this is oil. Yeah, yeah. The language is quite different. It, it's hard, though. It's, it's not easy. It's, yeah. I, I always yeah. tell people, if you move to a country where they don't speak the language, you understand, you you look stupid, you feel stupid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You feel like you yeah, are starting from Neju. You understand? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. And sometimes <laughs> somebody can like offend you, you want to give it to the person, but you can't be speaking the language. Are you, how are you going to say it? Like, how are you going to say it? <laughs> Oh my god. I remember, uh, so um, when you are here, it's very difficult to see black folks, like people of mm. color. Very, very difficult. I want to give you but, I forgot here. Yes, it's very, very difficult. You can walk like a whole week and you will not come across uh, black folks here. Hmm. Even wow. to talk so of Ghanaians. We have like, I was even going to ask you, there was like a Ghanaian community, Afro shops. Yes, there's an Afro shop, okay. there's a Ghanaian community and all that. But see, on a regular day, hmm. you won't be going to these Afro shops and the likes. You would want to be walking around. Yeah. And I'm bringing out this because I, I travel to Germany a lot because yeah, my sister yeah. is in Germany. Yeah. She's in Hamburg. Oh, Rita, oh. Shout out to Very her. close yeah. to me. <laughs> Yes, my so my sister and then she she's married. Yeah. My sister and the husband. Yeah, but they are this Ah, me say so. When I was going, I took the bus from <laughs> right from Prague. The bus was quiet. So we got to Berlin and then it picked people up and then okay. we were. I was in the bus now. Nah, then I heard, "Kwabna, Kwabna, me bow. It's boom for the end." I said, "Yes, my." <laughs> <laughs> when I go to Hamburg, I feel at home. I feel like I'm in Ghana. I like I was at a train station and you. then I'm this guy you. just approached me. He just started speaking tree, asking me that hey, mommy, mommy, we part of train. I said, how did you even know I'm a Ghanaian? How can you just approach me and just start speaking tree? That's what I it was like, ah, say we are Ghana. We are Ghana. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ghanaians Hamburg are is, very interesting. Yeah. yeah. I know I know Czech Republic is shares a border with Germany. Yes. So if you're in Prague, which city in Germany is like closer to Prague? Dresden. Dresden. Okay. Yes. 
I don't know. I don't like that. Resident, please. <laughs> yeah, Resident is very close. Okay, so and it's close to Berlin. Yes, hmm. close to Berlin as well. Okay, okay, cool. So, um, we have been getting to forty minutes. Let me do. Let, let's just wrap up so that I can go to your church. So, last words to anyone who wants to like um study in Czech Republic. What do you have to tell them? I think usually people want to travel to Europe, not necessarily um, study in Czech Republic. They want to okay. travel to Europe. However, they are using a very difficult means because of the whole concept of blocked account. Yes, of yes. Yeah. I know in Germany, like there's when you're applying, because I apply for schools, when you're applying for schools, they'll be asking you bring references and then you send an email mm-hmm. to your lecturer. I remember going to my lecturer and then he told me, I'm not ready for this nonsense. Right? And I'm in a car and I... I had to go all the way to Cape Coast, Cape Coast. for for reference letter, and the lecturer told me that. So these things are very difficult to get, very stressful. Yes. Yeah. Right? However, and that is why I like my school because they don't really stress you. For example, um, language certificate. You would have to prove to them that you speak English. English. Sometimes what they do is that um, they have an interview with you, and then they try and understand if. Yeah. You, you speak English or not. If they are not convinced, there is this form of um, language proficiency where you contact your school, they will write a letter to you that, hey, um, Mr. Seth so-so-and-so attended UCC. His courses were in English and all that, so he understands English. He has mm-hmm. maybe A1, B, something. Yeah. You, once you send it to them, they are good to go. That's yeah, when they, they are not convinced with, from the university. Yeah. Yeah. Once they are not convinced with your level of English, the school ha- just has to write something and then send it to them. Then psh, you are good to go. You don't yeah. have to write IELTS. You don't have to mm. write anything. So me, I personally think that, look, instead of going through all those routes, struggling, Czech yes. Republic is a place to be. Plus, okay. my guys that are know, people are struggling for jobs in Germany. Yeah. But my guys that are know, I, I'm not guys we so I'm giving you examples of companies. Okay. Johnson and Johnson. I know my friends are working in Johnson and Johnson. Mm. The so company I want to work friend, with <laughs> Deloitte. People are working. I don't know if you know SAP, but SAP, people are working in SAP. In Czech right. Republic. Yes. There are opportunities there. Right. Yeah. I mean, my friends who I'm not talking about distanced people. I'm talking about yes, my people friends, you know. Ghanaian yeah. that I know okay, that are okay. working in. Exxon Mobil. I don't know if you know. Yeah, Exxon. yeah, Exxon. Yes, yeah, I mean yeah. the boys here are doing things. Right? Can I also I get would... a job there? <laughs> of course. In fact, because actually my I'm company... searching for jobs because I'm almost complete. And I have to find a job. If I, I don't want to wait. Till As, that's why I told you that today I got a rejection right now. Today is Sunday. Oh. Sunday said Sunday. Imagine. I get it. I get it. I can. So what we can okay, so that would be an offline yeah, conversation. Yeah. I need referrals. I need it. Even <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. Johnson and Johnson is a company I would like to work. Yeah, it's a very nice mm-hmm. place to be in. Yeah. Very nice yeah, place. Yeah. yeah. Only problem we'll is that talk, we don't we'll take talk. as much as you Germans are taking, but we are taking according to our level. We I need experience. Big... For me, first job, I'm not really looking at the money. I first mm-hmm. job I want experience, you know, then yeah, yeah I can. Okay. That's really nice. Anyway, so in, in short, what he's trying to say is explore other places. Don't put your, some people, that's why people get disappointed. You, you just don't put your mind on one country. Because the others, there are a lot of countries in Europe that like is good. You can go and study there. I know Norway, Finland, Sweden, Belgium, mm-hmm. Netherlands. There are also even like Czech Republic, which is more affordable. Hungary, you know really really affordable places that and students are also allowed to work so as you said you came to germany that means your visa is also um your visa is like schengen yes you can travel to other european countries that's really other nice so. okay it's thank you germany so much way, so. germany yeah mm-hmm. next time when you are coming to germany let me know <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll be in germany for christmas because Last okay. year's Christmas, I spent it here. I didn't enjoy it at all. And this time, my sister and the husband are forcing me. At least your move, sister is move, close. Move. Yeah. So it's so nice to have, like, you know, this place can yeah. be very boring. It's so nice I'll to have, you. like, family I'll or something around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And then, yeah, you guys should try Czech Republic. 
Yeah, so thank you so much and then have a good one. Cheers. Thank you also for hosting. How do you say bye in Czech? Czech. Ciao. Ciao. Okay, in German, you say ciao. 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 <laughs>